What's going on YouTube? Sox Arizona back with another Boston Red Sox video. This time it is Rich Hill, the 41-year-old left-handed starter making his way over to Boston. Coming off a year where he went 6-4, 3.89 ERA with New York and Tampa Bay. Obviously he has been with the club a few times now. I think this is his fifth or sixth stint with the Red Sox. Has played for 11 teams. He's been there, done that. If you guys don't know who Rich Hill is, he will eat up innings when he's healthy. He's a clubhouse guy. Like I said, been with the Sox before. I think this is primarily to come help the young guys on the staff and eat up innings at the same time. I think this is a good signing for only $5 million. Will the Red Sox go with a traditional five-man rotation is my next question this leads me to because it seems like a week, a week and a half ago when we were without Eduardo Rodriguez after he went to Detroit. It seems like we were really hurting for pitchers, but now the top of that, that top of that rotation is looking like it's stacked. Like, which five guys do you pick now? Once Paxton comes back healthy, Sale, Avaldi, Pavetta, those guys are going to be in the rotation at the top. You got Hauk, Waka, Rich Hill now, James Paxton. These are all guys that can eat up good innings when they're healthy. Now, do some of these guys end up going to the back end of the bullpen, or maybe early relief guys in the bullpen? We don't know. But it's good to have a clubhouse signing like this, a guy that's going to come in and, and be the glue and, and help everybody with their, with their pitches. Who knows who's working on new pitches. Rich Hill's been there, done that. Picking up cheap pitchers. This is the interesting thing I've seen from Hein Bloom. Everybody's calling him cheap, and yes, he's making the cheap moves. You saw Stroman go to the Cubs for, what, 20-something million dollars a year. Back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back days here, we've got Paxton, We've got Waka and we've got Rich Hill all for under that price. And these are guys that are going to eat up innings. We don't know what we're going to get from Stroman going over to Chicago on that big contract. Um, the only thing with Rich Hill is his fastball is deteriorating. Obviously, he's a 41, going to be 42 next year, year old pitcher. His fastball tops out at 88 miles an hour. Now, it is important sometimes to have that good change of speed on your staff. We got flamethrowers up at the top of the line up with Sale and Evaldi and Pavetta and Hauk throws his fastball really hard. So we'll see what Rich Hill does coming in on this lineup. Not a big splash, not really what I expected. Uh, you can't say you hate this move at all. Um, Heim Bloom obviously working the, working the cheap side of things, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. Make sure you guys realize that's not necessarily a bad thing. It's low risk, high reward signings that we're making here. And if they work out, they are really going to work out. I will be back with another Boston Red Sox video later on today. Make sure you hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. Boston Red Sox fans, I'll be here all off season and gearing up for a big 2022. 2022. Welcome, Rich Hill. Hit that like button. I'm out. See you for the next one. Go Sox.